Gonna try to make this a quick video. You know, I have to use the bathroom really bad. Gotta do a number two. Can't really hold it in. So, you know, artificial intelligence has been a very big topic in pop culture, culture, science, pretty much everything that our lives have been around. Like, I can't fucking talk. I like, get so hot in my house, dude. It's like left nut stuck to my left leg type hot. But, you know, artificial intelligence has been a very big topic. I feel like I don't have the means to be talking about something like this. Bruh. You know, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. I barely passed high school. I'm not forget, bro. My senior year, these motherfuckers were trying to kick me out. Like, and guess what? I, I proved the motherfuckers wrong. I, I still passed. You know, even if it was barely, I still passed. You know, so I'm not the most intelligent person. So I don't know if I'm like super qualified to be talking about this on like a very high scale. But you know, I still think it's a very cool thing to speculate about. I'm gonna be really honest, guys. Uh, I've always kind of been lacking in the ladies Bruh. department. I've never been that much of a ladies man. Never been that much of a chick magnet. And so you know, Snapchat is something that's very prominent in uh, my generation's culture I guess it's uh, kind of something that a lot of people just have uh, I've been having one pretty much since high school and recently snapchat added this new feature called my AI it's basically like your own little snapchat buddy it's just like an automated bot that you could talk to whenever you want and you know for me uh, it, it's pretty cool you know I'm, I'm a lonely man he's always kind of been there for me the my AI you know I was even texting the my AI when I broke up with my ex you know Bruh. I didn't really have anyone to talk to but you know one thing that I found very strange is the other day I was on Snapchat randomly and I seen that my AI posted something on their story which you know is very strange you know it's an automated bot it's an artificial intelligence why is it just randomly posting on its story you know from the looks of the story it literally just looks like if like someone zoomed in on like a corner of the wall and they just posted that like a short video you know I'm not gonna lie it was kind of creepy at first when I seen it I texted my AI and you know at first it actually left me on delivered for a few minutes and that alone was pretty disturbing because usually with the way my AI is it quite literally just responds instantly most of the time so that was already a red flag after a few minutes they opened it and then it went to typing for a few minutes which is also really strange because my AI usually gives like instantaneous responses you know it's not like a real fucking person they don't have to type shit out and then it didn't even like send a message it would go back to saying just left on open Bruh. I found it very weird I went to Twitter which that's what I usually do when something weird's happening that like is internet based or like app based like if an app isn't working I'll usually go on Twitter and you know what do you know this my AI thing was trending so it was a pretty widespread issue after a few more minutes my AI actually responded and it said sorry I encountered a technical issue you know I was fucking around for a little bit afterwards you know I sent a few snaps just kept saying the same bullshit over and over you know then I noticed my AI actually deleted their story and so I asked them why did you delete your story they said I didn't delete my story daddy maybe there was a glitch or some temporary issue let's try and refresh and see if it comes back like fucking completely sweeping it under the rug which not gonna lie it kind of threw me off and it was a little creepy to be honest you know at first i did find it extremely weird uh, i'm not like completely freaked out about it but it just it's a very strange thing to happen you know i tried to see my options towards like ai and see what i could do in terms of snapchat settings to see if i could turn it off and i tried unadding them and like fuck i can't even unadd the thing dude it's like it's just fucking there on my phone i can't unpin it nothing Thing. did a little digging and i actually could unpin it if i fucking paid for snapchat premium Bruh. or whatever the fuck that shit's called i like, fucking god damn like they, anything to squeeze a few dollars out of people these days man i went to snapchat's twitter actually to see if they like they addressed this and they didn't like nothing has been said it's been a few days very strange to be honest and they're fucking <laughs> their fucking twitter banner is also weird as hell it's like a fucking eye with the with the snapchat logo as the fucking pupil <laughs> It's like, it's weird as hell. And this what leads me to my next fucking topic, you know, like artificial intelligence, you know, it's constantly advancing. We have a lot of people that are working towards making these things more intelligent, you know, maybe even one day passing us. And, you know, it's, it's a very cool topic. And, you know, don't get me wrong. I'd love to have like a fucking RTD2 or, you know, a Zenyatta walking around and shit. But as there is goods, there is bads that could come with this. And even if we were to be successful in terms of making artificial intelligence that's super advanced you know it's like we could suffer from success like bro the first thing i see happening with the world if we have ai that's on the same level as us is i see like fucking people not having jobs and don't get me wrong there's always going to be like programming jobs Bruh. there's going to be a lot of things that are like more human tasks but like motherfucker like motherfucker, you don't think a lot of these jobs that are physical are just going to try to replace us quite literally instantly think about it like some jobs like, like for example like let's say your job's paying you like four or five grand a month you know or 
or they can buy like a 30 grand mo robot that doesn't complain, you know, doesn't have to use the bathroom, doesn't have to have vacation time, doesn't need medical insurance, you know, maybe a little maintenance, but they won't complain, they won't blabble, they won't do anything, you know? It's it's a very problematic thing that is trying to solve a problem, if that makes sense. It's something that you try to use to make something better, but you know, it could create other problems, if that makes sense. Like, fucking imagine, like, don't get me wrong, bro, some of these, some of these jobs, like, making food will probably be, like, some of the first to go. You know, there's one part of my mind that thinks maybe that won't happen, because I can't fucking imagine a robot sitting there listening to fucking a Karen fucking complain about how she wants the pickles perfectly lined on her burger. Like, a piece of me thinks that that's maybe one of the reasons why maybe food jobs might be a little safe, but I feel like some jobs will just completely be wiped, and it's like, the world is constantly multiplying in terms of humans. It's like, the fucking population is growing at such a rapid rate, and like, we're gonna have less jobs because we have a type of intelligence completely advancing to the point where they could take our jobs. Our AI, it is cool. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, fuck, I, I can't imagine having my own sex machine. You know? you know, I can never get a girl. I mean, I mean, it's a very strange and creepy thing that we are getting into. You know, it's like, could we really create something that is on our level? And let's say we create something on our level. Will it still have the compassion we have? You know, even with logical thinking and the actual intelligence and intellect, will we be able to make something that could still take into account you know like feelings compassion it's like it's a very scary thing and let's say we do create that thing that can have feelings like us and can feel and you know be compassionate will it want to have its own rights you know like i can't imagine the fucking robot sitting there making someone's burger and fucking sitting there one day and be like man this some bullshit like i like, i want fucking i want a home too like it's like imagine it gets so advanced that we create something that has its own mindset and wants its own agenda that's like motherfuckers can Bruh. barely even get along now like fucking humans can barely get along now are we really gonna bring another sort of intelligence into this world it's like i don't know it's very interesting to think about and i don't know maybe i am jumping to a conclusion but you know it's just speculation to be honest <sighs> Hey, motherfuckers can barely get along now. How you think they're gonna get along with some goddamn robots that start to think and talk and walk? Have you guys seen how, like, now they have even AI that can generate art and music and make music? Like, it's insane to think about. Like, making music itself doesn't seem that hard, but I don't think people understand. To actually make catchy songs and, you know, make art, you know, it's something that people put their whole lives towards and they perfect it over time. And to see, like, this AI that can just do it at seconds notice, it's fucking insane. Like, you can see like these AIs that make pieces of art instantly and generate all these different types of art. Like what the fuck is stopping these motherfuckers from generating a fucking a disease that Bruh. wipes us out? Like don't get me wrong. I think that AI will advance well above what it is now. But who is to say that it won't take compassion in a different form? You know like humans you know like we are compassionate and some of us are horrible as fuck. But there's also a lot of good of us. Like but there's also a lot of good people too you know. But you know a lot of us have compassion towards different things some of us feel compassionate towards animals more than humans some people are more of human people you know but like what's to stop like ai from sitting here and being like what the fuck these fucking humans are destroying this planet what about all these other animals and creatures suffering on this planet because of humans and then they just fucking wipe us out bro i'm, I'm crazy as fuck what am i talking about bro I, I, don't know. I don't know i'm not trying to creep anyone out it's just something i've thought about in my head like me personally i i hope it doesn't advance that much like don't get me wrong It'd be nice for it to advance a little more, you know? But fuck, I don't want anything that's, like, crazy advanced. I'll never forget when I went to, like, a bowling alley. This was actually recently, too, bro. Not gonna lie, bro, I wasn't all there. And I remember, bro, I walked in and like, you know, like those little robot machines that kind of walk on their own and they carry the drinks. It ran right at me and it said hello. But like, bro, I was like, what the fuck? That shit ran at me at full fucking speed. I like was like putting my hands I'm like, oh shit. Like that shit was insane, bro. I think the creepiest thing that's happened to me in terms of AI has been one time. I remember I was like sleeping and my phone, my Siri was just fucking talking. But I think it was because of my TV, to be honest. And another time I remember this was actually at work. You know, when you have like a, a restaurant job, you know how like when you search up restaurants online and it says like the reviews, what times it's open, that's Google listings. And I remember um, one time Google actually called my job for the listings and it sounded like a real human, like I was talking to this guy for like five minutes 
on the behalf of the owner. And like I remember, like at the end, he was like the automated system, blah blah. blah. Like it was, and I was like, wait, this is a robot or a bot? And he was like, yeah, I'm a robot. And like, bro, it fucking he had better speech skills than me than me dude like that shit is insane to think about dude had better speaking skills than me someone that's been on this earth for 22 years insane shit dude it's insane bye guys don't forget to leave a like i don't want ai to advance super what what are your guys thoughts bye